it's a close to six feet away. Why is you need it to be six feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll explain why. Welcome to another episode of Nerd, Nerd Out. Out. Well, six feet is the oh, uh, safe. Yeah, and um, we did a we did an episode two two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, my wife saw it and yelled at me, and probably rightfully so. She's like, "You were not six feet apart," and I'm like, "You know, we were we were three or four. I mean, you know, we weren't like hugging or anything." So, anyways, um. So that kind of sort of kept us from Welcome doing. Welcome to Nerd Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I'm gonna I'm I'm probably gonna be yelling because you know we we've we have never updated our um, quality. Uh, you know we're using a phone to film this, so it might be a little bit quieter than even normal. But nevertheless, we're back. Um, we doing okay on our uh, quarantine. We're bored doing, as are you? Shit. Yeah, bored. Yeah. I mean, and I've been working, but it's like just my hands. Yeah. My ass is sore from sitting on it, yeah. you know, and like... I, I've you know? actually been working a lot. My, my biggest problem, and, and I don't know if it's a problem, I'm not going to complain, but I've been staying up to like three or four in the morning. Me too. Yeah, I just... Me too. And then, and then, I don't know, I wake up around 11, which is, you know, kind of nice, but uh, yeah, staying up really late, really late. I'm going to be in trouble when they turn the planet back on, mm -hmm. because I won't be able to do that. And the whole thing is, I don't wake up at 11, I just sort of like... Just sit there, call my toes, and then start moving around nine and like. Oh yeah. I, so I, people bother me. I get pissed and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah. You know, I'm like really short with like people, and I have to deal with. I, them. I need my coffee in the morning. Like you I do. literally like even if my kids come by me, they know not to even say. They can say hello. That's about. Yeah, the but best don't don't hit me up for anything no until way. I get coffee. No yep. way. No way. Yep. Um. So, but nevertheless, we're here, and and hopefully things will start getting back to se semi-normal but we thought we'd bring you an episode and except for that, me i'm never normal that's true right. that is yeah. true uh i'm super gi joe crazy yeah right let's now. talk about this yeah so um the gi joe series one classified should be out honestly any day. Right, in six days so, what's happening in six days right so no, I, I, I mean seven days but i ordered a ton of right. them from my shop i don't know when they're gonna show up i haven't gotten a, a notice but uh someone on ebay had the set of them like in stock now and it was a reasonable price and I freaked out and I ordered it and after I ordered I said hey man your your listing says in stock is are you ready to ship and he's like he's like yeah and I'm like okay I haven't got my ship where are they coming from California okay I look well if you don't get a tracking number by tomorrow you know he's lying if I don't get a tracking number by tonight, like late tonight, I'm going to start the email, like, freak out. Because... What is his response time? Does it say... He was, he, no, you know what? I didn't Any notice. Time? Yeah, I always check that shit and I hold people yeah, to it. Yeah, I try to chill out because I know that everyone's busy, but this is the G.I. Joe figures. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not messing around. Like, I'm excited. And I do want to say one thing, though. Like, if, if he has this stuff early, he should know that it's something that people are gonna want if somebody's paying that much right up front it's a toy guy he wants his shit now yeah yeah no they, he like, should know that he he seemed to understand that i wanted it now mm -hmm. uh one thing i do want to say that we haven't talked about is that they did show pictures of the snake eyes and then and, and the actual regular release snake eyes is all black as yeah. opposed to that yeah um let's talk about the snake eyes real quick because i do like the black yeah that's what i want to talk yeah. about so i like the black yeah um I don't know if I prefer the visor to have been so black, but I think I do. Uh, I think we both agree that the weapons, they're... Not, not as good. No, I mean, I want him to have an Uzi. Me too. Um, but I'll get over it. You know, I mean, nah, they really should give him an Uzi. I mean, look, I have the other version. If yeah. I want to, I can put, put the, the Uzi with it. Yeah. But I am, I am like, what would you use the word? Uh, I'm, a, I'm like a, a, a purist. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Snake Eyes needs an Uzi. Right. Which is, yeah, you should have an Uzi. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do have one big problem with that Snake Eyes that, like, I just don't know if I can get over, is he's got this really weird red line Are on top of his visor. Are we positive that that's not an error? I'm I mean, 100%. I, I know you... I don't know. Yeah, but how many different figures have you seen? Like, isn't it all I've the seen, same figure, just different people taking pictures? No, I've seen at least uh, 10 different examples of it. Oh, no. And not only that, but it's oh, like a no. perfectly straight line. Like, I don't know what it is, like a little rectangle. Yeah. And it's perfectly centered. It's terrible. It is terrible. I hate it, too, right I, on top of the visor. I, I, I hate, hate it. it. I, I think it, I truly believe, based on what I've seen, that it, it ruins a fig, the figure. 
I don't understand it. Like, what are they giving him? Like a light so he can see in the dark or so? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I don't thinking. like it. Why would you ever put a huge red thing on it? It I, is so glaring. Like. Yeah, it's so glaring and distracting. Um, and again, uh, the emblem on his outfit, even I think, is a little annoying. Like, I almost think he should be all black. Like, he wouldn't just broadcast like. I don't I'm know. okay with it. I think the emblem is an important part of him. It's just that it's like this red dash, and it like doesn't fit in with anything. It doesn't like. It doesn't make sense to me based on what I've seen in the pictures. Plus, I, you yeah, know, I don't like it at all. I don't either. I don't like it. At, I don't get like what they were thinking. And it's tiny. Like the whole thing. Why even bother? Why bother putting like an eyesore? I don't know. That's, it, it is. It's it's a tiny eyesore. And it doesn't like break up the sculpt or anything. Like it just makes no sense. Yeah, it breaks up the paint job. Yeah. It break, it's like, huh? It, doesn't, it doesn't add anything to it. At least, again, I'm basing this on... The pictures i've seen maybe in hand i'll be like oh i get it maybe that production run was flawed and it was all of them were flawed maybe. you know what it sucks not... if that's the case you know i'm buying another one yeah like i could easily scratch off the, the red dash yeah. but like i'm a purist i don't want to do that are all the pictures you've seen of production or were they pre-production um, samples I'm not... all the production samples have the red dash they showed Sucks. They showed like someone had a picture of one really early on and it didn't have it. Mm. So I got a little like uh, excited. Like maybe maybe the dash is like you said, like a paint splat uh, error and it's not I don't I don't think it is. I don't I don't know. But uh it bothers me. Um and then while we're talking about that, I love the new Duke. Like I've I've seen reviews of it and he looks great. I love it. Yeah, I like him too. I think he looks great. The armor on the legs was really bother, bumming me out at first, mm -hmm. but now it's like they, they sculpted it well enough that you can tell it's sort of, I know it's not removable, but it's sort of like, I don't know, it bothers me a lot less now. It seems to make a lot more sense. I like it, and uh, what I think it does is, is I think G.I. Joe Classified has that classic look, but mm -hmm. they've given it its own style. You can sense that there's a style going on, and with that, I've gotten really excited to think of the characters that I want to see the most, that mm -hmm. we want to see the most. So what we're doing is we're essentially going to do a top 10. Sort of. Sort of a top mm. 10 uh, Joes and top 10 Cobras that we want to see. And with that in mind, keep in mind, like, I, I'm i visualizing these 20 or so characters with a slight modernization, which I, I'm, I'm mm. liking. I'm, I'm all for change. As long as you know it has the essence of the character, so I put a pretty anal list, and uh, there's no order to my list. Me neither, really. I was just gonna like. I figure we just go back and forth. Let's do Speaking it. Speaking of anal, real quick. So, uh, can I tell my story about? Oh my god! All right. Go so, uh, a couple weeks ago, I got really excited because I went through all my file cards, and I found these like four by six top loaders, and so I got real excited. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put all my uh all 200 or something 300 something uh file cards gi joe file cards in these top loaders and then today i found this top loader which is actually a better size than the ones i used and i am gonna go back and buy 300 more of this this smaller size top loader that isn't it you know it's crazy right no i i mean it is crazy that's nuts but that doesn't phase me for two seconds no I, I i think it's almost expected like if you find how would you not i mean is it possible that you wouldn't go back and buy them no because would you now just sit I there like yeah there's a better match but i don't need it that's right yeah like, it's not gonna happen i know there's a better fit oh. and i have to go with it that's how i'm with my comics man it took me it took me numerous times to get the proper fit with, because you have different size books, and I can only have one size bag. I okay. cannot. That freaks me out, man. Let's get this shit on. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was like a like an alert, you know, like uh, what are those alerts? Yeah, I that, thought it was too. Through? I thought it yeah. was a safety alert. So sorry about that. My phone just called the police. Dialed nine one one. It, it caught, dialed mm -hmm. nine one one. I don't know why. I guess it like hit a couple buttons. But we both jumped like we freaked Fitches. out. Yeah, yeah it would have been was, awesome. It was, I wish we would have had it. I don't know why it didn't catch it. But, yeah. uh, 
Yeah, so then the uh, I had to talk to the police department, and they just wanted to double-check it was not real. So it wasn't real. So we were just talking about... Uh, New file cards. Bag, yeah, yep. and you are talking about bag and board sizes. Yes, we were talking about, you were asking, is it neurotic to change yes. size? And it is, but you have to do it. I would do the same thing, like, like we were saying. With books, I can't have different size bags. So it took me like 10 combinations to find the right compromise that would make me happy on any size comic. So, so I get it. If you have a Silver Age book, yeah. you still use the same. So you yeah, use, I use oh, yes. so you use mm. Silver Age books for a modern book. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Does that bother you though? Don't you like the tight the tight bag? Um well, I don't really do modern books oh, in okay. the first place. Oh, that's true. Good so, point. Yeah. But I only do like really bronze and silver, but if I were in a modern, my modern books would be in silver age bags. One hundred percent. Yeah, okay. I would that that that's the sacrifice. I couldn't have separate sized. I think if bags. I was at your level, I would be a uh, top loader, but mm -hmm. um that you know, just because you have your book collection is is um it's not just like you buy the new books every Wednesday and uh, you I mean you have a specific book count you know what i mean like yeah you don't just yeah. buy like 20 books a week of the new books I, and put them in a box like you mm -hmm. have a collection that's very specific but i don't know maybe i should get in top loader or whatever yeah. i mean you use like a mylar though don't you yes okay. i do use a mylar yeah so, so i mean that's high end and that's that's basically what i'm talking about mm -hmm. all right so let's get to it uh in no order uh we'll separate the joes the cobras the top 10 from each team that we think that i i'm i i'm i did it in the sense that like these are the guys that i want to see in this classified line first because i think it would make most sense i do want to make one more note i do know who's in series two i don't know if it's been announced and i might get in trouble but i had to remove these guys and i should have told you this ahead of time so series two is going to be gung-ho cobra commander although i don't know which one if it's going to be right. hooded or non gung-ho Cobra Commander and uh, the Red Ninja. So if you had any of those, take them off your list. Cobra Commander would probably be on the list, but so take those guys off your list. Well, um, wait, okay. And Pimp Daddy Death. Why did I think there was already a Cobra Commander coming out? Yes, because I told you already. What the, I didn't see a picture. No. Hundred percent. Yeah. I, Who's I'll, coming out? Okay, Destro. Yeah. Duke. Duke. Scarlet. Yeah. Destro, Duke, Scarlet, Roadblock. Okay, I had a dream. I've been having like not real dreams or something. Right, like, right. Thinking I saw something and I didn't. I've been having GI. I would have said too. I saw it. Okay. I was about to tell you I saw it. Well, if you said you wow. saw it, did you see it as a hooded Cobra Commander? A helmeted. Oh, helmeted. I, okay. But but that's what I thought. Wow. No, I, I don't know where that came from. It's been a crazy. Wow. Thing. It's been a crazy wow. last month. Yeah, don't trust me. Okay. All right. Do you Wait. want to go first? You want yeah, to go? go. You, right. you go first. All right. Cobra you... team or Joe team first? Let's do Joe All right. team. I'm gonna be honest too. All right. My Joe list is longer than my Cobra list. You know, right. I, I mean, even though we said 10, I, right. I'm bigger. I, I'm one of the rare collectors who seven out of 10 times takes a Joe over Cobra. All right, go. And I know you're out. All right, first one, uh, Lieutenant Falcon, man. I right. love Lieutenant Falcon. Sweet. I was going to say Flint. Okay. Flint, and, it, and the thing is, is a lot of the ones on my list uh, are... A combination of ones we know i mean we mm. know some of these are going to be made yeah uh like like storm shadow i'm kind of going of course off, they're going to do they're going to do a storm shadow but, them. but i i know me too yeah. because how could you not all right uh i put blowtorch on my list he was my first joe and i think his colors in combination would look really good in that would be line. sweet i put beachhead beachhead what beachhead is interesting um because he looks like a bad guy. Yeah, well, not only that, but, like, he's... I would say that he's probably top tier of, like, popular characters, which is really... Is he really? Yeah, I think so. I think he would be the top in the top ten of most popular characters, Beachhead. I he didn't looks have, cool. He does look he cool. He looks cool. I he's, never knew that, though. Mm -hmm. He's got the firefly head. Yeah. But, like, he was... Uh, he, he's, he was... I would say that a lot of people, if they're going to give you their top five favorite Joes, I yeah. think Beachhead is on a lot of people's list. Which is surprising, yeah, right? I think so. I wonder if it'd be, if it'd be cool if they gave him two heads. Like, oh, I'd love to see him without a mask. Really? Without his mask. I think that'd be sweet. I mean, I'm okay with it, but I think the the mask the the the, the mask is what defines them. You take off that mask, and it's kind of like kind of boring. Yeah. But I don't have a problem with that. Like, I think that'd be a cool thing. Like, what if he had a big old mustache? Because you know he has a mustache. No, no. I think they've shown him in the cartoon. I think he's just like. 
a dude with white dude with brown hair, I think. With a mustache? No. If he had a mustache though, wouldn't you see it like Yeah, he'd the... be coming through yeah, it. Yeah, like, like a, a big burnt. old mustache. That'd be sweet. I don't think he does. All right. Uh Beachhead's on my list, by the way. So is Flint. All right. Flint's Flint's a, a given. Like mm. uh I was more of a Duke guy than Flint. But Flint is, you know, well, Duke came first, yeah, right. yeah. But Flint was awesome. Flint yeah. was, was 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 the cooler of the leaders, right? I mean, he was just cool. He was newer, I think. You think that's like what it was? Falcon? Didn't Falcon replace Flint? Yeah, More Falcon kicked Fal his ass. Yeah, Falcon was in, in the comic books, yeah. the cartoon. Falcon's character was terrible, but in the toys, he was so cool. He was like so, and he was a Green Beret. Yeah. He was one of my favorites as a kid. But in the cartoon. Don Johnson did his voice. Yeah, well, he was like Hot Rod yes. in the movie. He yes. was like the, the hot shot kid that had to learn to be a better leader. 100%. Yeah. But Sweet. I didn't like his character in the cartoon, but as a figure, he's one of my favorite figures of all mm -hmm. time. Uh, Spirit. Sweet. Man, that, that powder blue shirt. Yeah, yeah that'd be they sweet. Gotta keep that powder Speaking blue. Speaking of powder blue shirt, Shipwreck. Shipwreck is on my list, too. Sweet. So now here's the thing about Shipwreck. Well, he I guess the armored pants will drown. He's a sailor. That's true. I want him but, with bell bottoms. But he's, you want him with bell bottoms, like navy See, navy bell bottoms. Later on in uh, some of the GI Joe toy lines, they made shipwreck with a knit cap, yeah, and a turtleneck. Yeah, yeah, and like the, yeah. I remember that. And I think I that's remember. my preferred way of shipwreck. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I like class. Like I, I like them like the dirty sail. Like, you like, like the, the the straight out of the yeah they, the. Straight off the boat. Yep. Did sailors really wear those gear? Yes. One hundred percent, they do. Yeah. Like, okay, I could probably look this up, but like, do you know what 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 the reason is for those hats? Like, it's what is tradition, the tradition? I guess is that what it is? Like, it's tradition. Yeah. There is, is there no any way. useful uh, property to the sailor hat? Like, it doesn't keep light out, sun out. Of, like, what is its purpose? Like, why does it have that shape? Because they're because in the time that they were. Uh, introduced like things that look showy were like tradition okay. or, or, or accruement was important a yeah accruement was important and hey, then look, it's stuck if they do shipwreck in that classic uh suit they have to have like open shirt chest oh yeah hair, yeah you know? chest yeah. hair yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure shipwreck is is one of my favorites though. he's awesome yeah, and he's because awesome. of the cartoon i loved him in the cartoon he looks so leisurely i'm not gonna lie i had two shipwrecks Sweet. as a kid uh, oh, that's awesome! Yeah, I got one, and uh, I got one as a as a birthday Drunk present, sailor. and I already had it. And I was like, I like shipwreck. I can hey. handle two. Yeah. Uh, next, was it you or me? Oh, you no. go. Okay. Uh, sci-fi. I have sci-fi on there too. Right nice. on. Nice. That it's that that mm. that that lime green. Yeah. That fluorescent green. The discs that he comes with the landmines. He was. No, that's no. Not... Who am I talking about? You're I'm talking not... about. Um... Uh, that's uh, what my uh, tripwire. Tripwire. Yes. Oh, my bad. My uh, bad. My bad. I'm talking about sci-fi. The, uh, the he was like the first Joe to really cross over into that whole neon color thing. But he helmet? was like, did he have a helmet in the visor? Yes. That's who I am talking about. Oh, okay. His backpack did something funky. His backpack had a wire, and then it had a little uh, little pegs that you could put the did, gun in. Did it have something removable on it? Mm -mm. I was worried. That's who I thought. Mm. Okay, yeah. Sci-fi. Yeah, I think he would look great in the new line. Yeah, he like, looked badass. Yeah. Um, so now it's you. Okay. Um, Lady J. Got got to uh, represent. Yeah, you I gotta think, represent. But like, she's awesome. She's like like that's one that like Lady J. I think she'd make a sweet figure. And they like. I think yeah. Lady J personality. Got to get her hair right. Yeah, you want the short hair. I want the short hair with the sort of, baseball cap. Not the just sort of like okay, like it almost looked Rick Hunter ish a little bit. It, it looked the like do. it looked like every every teenager in the nineties. Like I had like mm. we all had that haircut in the nineties. Oh. Like that was super oh. fun. Uh, baseball cap or no though? Because she had a baseball cap in the figure. I can't think about it. And I gotta be uh, honest, I say no. But or, okay, uh, either way. No, I'm with you. Either way. Uh, and I'm gonna be honest, just like with shipwreck. I think she should have a little bit of cleavage. I'm just going to be honest. I'm all about I think, that. I think Why not? Shiprock should. Shiprock yep. could. I always thought she'd look good. Um, yep. uh, I'm going to go with um, General Hawk, but with the brown bomber coat, General Hawk. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, you really can't 
do much with him, but I mean that brown, mm. it, the mm. brown coat was pretty classic. I think Quick Kick would be pretty hysterical. Like because would they really have him in nothing but pants and a sash? Today. That's a good question. Like, like, would they do that, or would they actually, like, give him, like, an outfit? They have to give him an outfit, right? Because, mm-hmm. I mean, could you really have a barefoot Joe again? I, I don't know. I don't know. If I, I think that. that would be ridiculous, but I, I just think they would do something cool with that. In, in, the, in the Pursuit of Cobra line, they gave Quick Kick, like, it was almost like the um, Bruce Lee, it was like the Bruce Lee, uh, what's the, what's the that famous uh, yellow outfit that he had? Fist uh, of... Uh, um, well, Enter the Dragon, but I don't know what no, the... No, the one that he wore in uh, Fist of Fury or whatever, the, 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 the yellow jumpsuit? and black jumpsuit. I don't but know they, what it's called, I don't but it's a sweet outfit. Yeah, I think they, they did a reverse version for that, hmm. um, which was pretty cool, but the problem is... is uh, Kick Kick, Quick Kick would still have to have the sash because I think yeah. that that's 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 the part that you remember Quick Kick and the blue pants. I think they only they like, had black pants. Were they black? Yeah, they'd they only went up to yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, they were mm-hmm. like, uh, what, what are those? Yeah. Um, my next one is kind of a uh, maybe I'll have you help me solve it. It's between Snow Job and Blizzard. You remember Blizzard? Yeah, I know. Remember who came with what? Okay, Snow so Snow came Jack... on his own. Blizzard came with the. No, um, you're thinking of uh, the Frostbite. Frostbite came. Frostbite with the came thing. with the snowcat. So okay. Snow Job had the red beard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The Blizz... hood. Yeah. You have a hood. Yeah. Okay. Blizzard came out around eighty-seven, eighty-eight, and uh, he had, he came with like a backpack that turned into a sled, and he had this really weird helmet. But I had Blizzard as a kid, and I really loved him. You know, I wish I had a picture. I don't have him. He was, uh, he came out with, like, the same series as Lieutenant Falcon. Okay. He was, like, he was, like, you know, every couple years they would do his new Snow character. And, uh, Blizzard was, that's classic. (laughs) No, it's okay. Uh, I I think that that's going to carry on and and convert the COVID to me. Oh, God. Um, Sorry. Snow Job is more iconic, but I think Blizzard would be cooler. I, I just yeah. I like Blizzard. Snow Job. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I like the snow characters. Like I, I think mm-hmm. it'd be really cool to have like uh, skis and the whole gear. And plus, you know, the the part of the fun part about GI Joe is creating, giving them. Well, you like, need different... two of them. One dude, one boner in snow gear isn't enough. You no, need, like you need like two right. guys at least. For sure, but stupid. But to start yeah. off, you got to, yeah. you know, you got to start. I mean, mm. you you're not going to give us two snow guys mm. in the first year. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Uh, I'm going to go with Blizzard. I'm going to I'm going right, to go Blizzard. Wetsuit. Oh, that's a good one. I remember. I love me some wetsuit. I love did, wetsuit. I did too. I didn't have him though as a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, I I always associate wetsuit and beachhead because there was an issue of the comic book. That too. Yeah. Like, there was an issue of the comic book where I, I I hope I'm remembering it correctly, but they were in a boat or a raft in the front cover of the comic book, and my brother Mike got it as a kid, mm-hmm. and it was just such an iconic moment for me. Just like the comic book, it was sort of like. When you played series. it over and over with the figures? Yeah, like, well, it was yeah. just like, when that assortment came out, that was like the first visual I saw of those characters. Okay, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, who are these guys? So it was really exciting. If I can dig up, like, the thing is, is my memory might be wrong. Like, I might I might be... It happens. It, I, I misremember a I know. ton of stuff. I know, like, like Cobra Commander. Yeah, like Cobra Commander, mm-hmm. but that's recent. Yeah. Who knows what I'm thinking about 30 years no, ago. Oh my not. god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was it me? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's you. I'm picking Airborne, and I'm picking that for Dave Lukowski. He loved Airborne. Yeah, he liked Airborne, and uh-huh. you know what? I respect that. Airborne, uh, mm-hmm. Airborne. He was he had he had ESP. Yeah, which oh, I you mean like yeah, the memory mm-hmm. thing. And I always thought that was super cool. Mm-hmm. And again, he had that powder blue shirt. Uh-huh. And I kind of have a thing for powder blue, I think. Okay. Anyways, but that was for Dave Lukowski. That's extra for you. I just thought of someone that I can't oh describe. Man. Well, okay, I'll pick it. I can't remember the name, but I, I also want Cover Girl. Okay, I liked her outfit. The she was like, brown jacket. Yeah, she was reminding me of like Battlestar Galactica. Oh, I don't know. I always thought she's, yeah, I always thought wow. she was cool. No, that's fair. That's mm-hmm. good. Um, I'm going low light. Okay, because low light had the like gray and black. 
and the, the goggles and like the the way that they could gear him up and like add so many parts to him he just looked great but might that'd be a great but one might. he had a mustache no he did he did and um i'm gonna let you go because you'll probably say him who oh set go um I'm way beyond my 10. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah. I got to go with a Stalker. Right on. I like yeah, the oh, hell yeah. I like the berets. Yeah. Although, yeah. Uh, Stalker's version 2 figure was great. Do you remember that one? No. He was, he was, What's the difference? He was like Arctic, but he came with a canoe. And he was wearing like Arctic gear and a canoe, mm -hmm. and he had like, uh, he was like, uh, he had the like, I like the beret, but he had the knit hat. He was always cool because he had like the real camo. You yes. know, he had camouflage, and that was sort of like a big deal. It was then. a big deal. It's like, like that's I used to misremember him. Like, think, oh, well, of course they all have camouflage. No, they don't. You're it right. Was just him. He was the first. Yep. He was the first Joe to have that camo, and he had a beret, and I think beret. Bazooka. Ooh, I think. you Bazooka. want bazooka? Yeah. Bazooka. Bazooka for me was always kind of dweeby. But That's why I like, like him. Okay. Yeah, like he's got yeah. he's got to have like a little bit of a bear beer belly. Yeah, he's got to yep. you know he had the big old stash. He was big old stash. Didn't he wear a flowered shirt? He wore a football jersey. A football jersey. Yeah, yeah. That's sort of why I like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, he would definitely translate well in the new line. Like I could totally visualize what he would look like. Yep. Yep. The fat lazy guy. Yeah. Big and bazooka. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Calling like, the big guy. Right. Yep. All right, I, yeah. we're we're still going. Um, I gotta go. Jinx, she was a ninja. All right, yep, yep. I mean, that's an easy one. Yeah. I only have a few more of the Joes. Do you have any more? No. Nope. Okay, then I'm gonna throw my last one. Yeah. Uh, oh, I do have one. Okay. More. Wild Bill. Ooh. I'm going for stashes, man. You like, I like stashes? Why, shades. Why don't you have it? Why don't you have? Can I'm not manly enough. No. I'm not manly enough, and it's just it's so during this whole um quarantine i thought about shaving my beard off because every couple of years i do to remind mm. myself what i look like without a beard yeah. and if i did it i was gonna keep a stash to see what happened so i decided to trim my beard and i took like an inch off because it was mm. pretty bushy and that was enough for me to realize that i cannot go all the way okay i, I look weird without a beard man i mean I, I you know i just do not like the way i look without keep a beard, a beard. hey yeah i say keep right it then. but i wanted to see what i'd look like with a stash mm -hmm. but i don't know if i'm willing to do the sacrifice it would be i'm, I'm a pretty hairy guy like i could grow a beard in like a week mm -hmm. and i mean when i mean like a full <laughs> beard but I uh can't. you know not in a week you get the splotches it's not even that it's sort of it like I grow like Wolverine chops oh, and then right the on. front all sort of grows in weak. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, two more tunnel rat. You remember yeah. tunnel rat? Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Had the big backpack with flashlights and then uh, dial tone. Oh my god! Yeah, dial. I wish I would have said dial tone. Beret, yep. beret and mustache. Yep. yep. Dial tone. Yep. Beret and mustache. Like that's perfect. But Cobra list is way cooler. Yeah, I think okay. they look cooler, man. You know, I like, I get it. Like, I can't argue the fact that mm. Cobra looks cooler than Joe. But I was a Joe guy. Like, I, I was a real American hero. Uh, Cobra's easier, though, because you can just pick almost, there's only, okay, I'm going to say, there's only a few Cobras that are that look like turds. Yeah, Mindbender. Mindbender, Render. Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball, Serpentor. I'm sorry, I Serpentor, don't... Serpentor, I agree with He's you. He's a boner. He's a total boner. He's Psycho Man! I agree. Over the top I agree. acting. And uh, Voltar. And Raptor. Yeah. You remember Voltar those, and Raptor? Are they, like, in the movie, those boners that, like, Voltar came with a vulture. Overlie. No, no. Galobulus. Nemesis oh, yeah, yeah. Enforcer. Uh, Voltar had a vulture. And okay. Raptor had wings. Yeah, that's and it, no. they were kind of turds. I mean, Crystal Ball was a turd. No, but I, but I agree. I agree with you. Serpentor, I, I know yeah. that he's got a big following, but he was, for me, he was like the jump the shark moment. Yeah, Him me and too. Was like, what? Well, this is not what I'm signing It, it was too for. much, man. He was too much. They for could me. make him cool. Yes, they could. They could make that cool now. Yeah, and do some cool shit. But Look, like, they'd have to really tone him down. I I respect people who like Serpentor. I get mm -hmm. it. Maybe if I had him, it might have been a different situation. But even as a kid, I was like, dude, he's just a super shiny gold dude yeah. with a green cape. I just didn't work yeah, for him. Yeah, and like, yeah, he like, 
Yeah, no good. I mean, even the story of him, I thought was too much. How he was like he was genetically like, made out of all the tyrants. Yeah, of the past. yeah. It was so, like, like that was crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. I'm like, this is too sci-fi. Yeah, it me. was too much. Yeah. But yeah, we have sci-fi on our list. Yeah, of right course. Through yeah. Um, let's get it out of the way with Cobra Storm okay. Shadow. Storm Shadow. Okay, it's fair just, enough. It's just a given. I'm gonna try and go backwards from the ones I don't like the least, just for the heck of it. Okay. Or the, I'm gonna try and do my least important. Which um, will probably get fleshed out because I'll do my mm, most important. Wild Weasel. Ah, oh, I like Wild Weasel. Mm. The problem is, is like, so he's the pilot for the hiss. Yeah. So he he should come no, with the hiss. No, it's not the hiss for the uh for the Oh rattler. yeah 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 the rattler. But he's okay just because you said oh, that yeah, that's on that's my right. list too. Both pilots. So the thing is about those is. The, the hiss is probably one of the few vehicles that like they could get away with making a big hiss. Yeah, but they'd have to make it right this time. It would have to. They'd what have was to, it? Not what? right the first time. I. It, it was too. I thought it was too small. Okay, but it was. I see. I never had the hiss. I mean, I didn't think it was too small as a kid. I loved it. As right, a kid. right. But you're saying now you look back at it. I don't know. It was pretty awesome. I, yeah, I, I mean, it was though. pretty awesome as a kid. I'm not going to say it. it was sweet. Yeah. But they have to make it two-seater, you know? Okay. Like so, in the cartoon. Like so you, that oh, bother, I see, man. I see, I see, I see. Uh, I like the way Wild Weasel looks. It's just that mm -hmm. I, I think of him as being um, a vehicle. I agree you with know? you. Yeah, I agree with you. That's why I put him bottom. I'm going to go with probably my number one uh, uh -huh. Cobra. Firefly, I, I, right. I love Firefly, yeah, man. He's up there. He was, he was like the saboteur. He was the saboteur. Yeah, and he had that gray, gray, that great gray with the little camouflage. He was great. Everyone liked Firefly. Crimson Guard, totally. Yeah, I really liked. I thought they were so cool. Like, don't know anything about them, but they were cool looking. I think they are probably my favorite army builder of GI Joe Cobra. Over a normal Cobra Trooper? Yeah, really? yeah. I mean, the Cobra Troopers are iconic, but the the Crimson Guards look like they could have been something out of Star Wars. I wanted one of those helmets. Yeah? Yeah, I want... Yeah, I agree I with you. I still want one of those helmets. Yeah. Just, uh, that would be my quarantine helmet. It's the Gauntlet Crimson Guard uh, helmet. Speaking of helmets, my Boba Fett, where is it? I'm waiting for it. It should be hitting You guys, day. that's going to be an emergency episode. Yes. Like, I'm really excited for that, but I'm sorry. Like, I know, I'm really excited for it, too. Oh, my God, am I excited for that. Um, since you did Crimson Guard, I'll get out another uh, easy one. Uh, Zartan. I love Zartan. Cool. Now, here's an opportunity, though. Should Zartan be a deluxe figure that comes with the Swamp of Rider? Course. Yeah, I think yeah. so. And, like, maybe some different faces. Like, give oh, him some yeah. accessories so it can be, like... Ooh, that would be so great if they gave him a couple different hats. Yeah, that would be sweet. They I would... should make him a deluxe. They probably will. They what? could charge what? 45... Sorry, I'm just yeah. super excited about it. Charge, like, 40, 40 to 50 bucks. And give have... you all the stuff you got with Snake Eyes. It'd be swole, That'd man. be awesome. Yeah, come with mm. a couple different helmets, heads... Yeah. Uh, the Swamp Rider, the backpack, a couple guns. That'd be great. Be bad. And I thought Zartan was just cool. Like he looked. Awesome. His figure was cool. Like almost as cool as Major Blood. Oh, you like Major Blood? I mean, I like the figure. Yeah, yeah. I think his like robotic arm and See, stuff. Now, as like, a kid, that kind of pissed me off though. Why? It, because it was like it, limp it, and didn't move. Yeah, it, it yeah. didn't have any articulation. But uh, Major Blood is a pretty iconic mm. character. Like I think they, I think that if you're gonna make his mail away form was so cool. Oh, he I don't remember so it. So cool. I don't remember it. He just, I mean, he looked like the same. I like. I thought yeah, it was cool. I liked his brown and black mix. Yep, I thought that was cool. Yep. And too bad he was a cheese dick and a, and a, and a Was he? He was sort of cheesy yeah. in the cartoon. He, he was sort of the whiny. Yeah. Yeah. He can't yeah. do his voice, but he was like a pushover. Yeah, that's true. Um, Baroness, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think Baroness is a given. I think she's already on the back of the packaging, yeah. which means that she'll probably be in the next couple of assortments. It's but be um, a hard one with her glasses, though. Why? I don't know. How do they have they done glasses that look good? Let me think about it. Um, because she's got to have them, right? Yeah, they're sexy. Yeah, yeah. she's got to have them. Yeah, she's got it. But they could do with sunglasses now, right? I didn't want her normal glasses. I do too, but I think that they would do like in the movie with sunglasses. But I do. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, they could do that, like but tactical I, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do think that 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 was one of the sexiest things to me was the fact that Baroness wore glasses. She was. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just thought that was sexy. Um, yeah. And I think to this day, I still have a thing for girls and glasses, and it might be because of Baroness. 
Why not? Yeah, yeah. could we? I, I like women with glasses and black leather and armor. Too. <laughs> black leather, and <laughs> black armor. leather and snakes on them that's and armor. A, yeah, like, man. Wow. Like um, yeah. Creepy. Mm, that's all. Awesome. No, no, that's legit. <laughs> um. Okay. You said Baroness. Baroness. Um. I'll take. I, I wouldn't mind an armored Cobra Commander. Oh, nice. Like like that. Is that version two? No, that that's was... version three, technically. What's version? Oh, version two would be hooded. hooded. Yeah, I got it, got it. You know, yeah. I got to be honest. I'm with you. I, I loved the Cobra Commander battle armor. Yeah, me too. I thought it was sweet. I, you know, like you can think of something and then you can like, it triggers a memory. Mm -hmm. Well, like I truly have, every time I think of hooded or battle armor Cobra Commander, I, it triggers a memory of when I went to KB mm -hmm. and saw it for the first time. And like I, down to the lighting of the KB toy stores. Cause like it was a very dim KB toy stores. You know, they were always really yep. bright mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I don't know if it was KB or circus world, but it was in the mall. And I remember like the lights. Mall? I don't remember what mall. Right. Actually, I think it was, I think it was a mall that I didn't normally go to. Okay. And the lighting was really dark. And I remember seeing the Battle Armor Cobra Commander for the first time. And, like, it, every time I think of it, I that the lighting of that store and everything, it just it brings, it brings back such back. warm fuzzies, man. Hmm. Um, I'm with you on that. Uh, I'm going to go with the Cobra Bat. Right. Yeah. I got Bat, too. Yeah. So, Cobra, Cobra Bat was, was definitely taking it onto the level of, like, potential sci-fi. It was creepy. It was it cool. It creeped me out. Yeah, I loved the Bat. It, it looked cool. It, it did. It really looked cool. And it had, like, Although, interchangeable arms. arms I mean, come stuff. on. That just translates so well into a toy. Yeah. You know what would be really cool? It's not on my list, but I'd take it anyway. I forget the name of it. But as a toy, it was different as a toy than it was in a cartoon. Remember the robots in the mine? The snake? Is that what it was? Um, where it's like you could put the dude, where you could put a guy in it. Yes, but the in the snake. It's a snake? It's, uh, I have a box one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the snake, yeah. yeah. I they, like one of those. I would like that too. Would that, was that different in the cartoon than it was in the They toy? were just robots in the cartoon, I'm oh, pretty sure. Oh, and they were armors in the cartoon. Yeah, they were armors oh. in the toy. That would be a perfect way to come out with a deluxe set. Have it come with uh, a, a regular Cobra soldier yeah. with with the armor. And then they could even do like slight paint differences on the yeah. Cobra soldier to create some army building. Like yeah. this is a good way for her. They should listen to yeah, this. Yeah, they should have Cobra soldiers come with different like accessories so they can paint them a little yes. different. Yeah, yeah that'd be little, sweet. Like slight differences. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Um I'm going to go with uh, the Snow Serpent. I like the snow guys, mm. and I thought the Snow Serpent was super cool. And since you're going to have, if you're going to have Blizzard or Snow Job on one side, I think the Snow Serpent would be a good one. Yeah, why not? They had snowshoes, mm -hmm. remember that? Yep. That was cool. What about Million Grenadier? Oh, he's on my list. Yeah, I think those are, I thought those were like sort of cool. Dude, that they were like totally, first of all, they were Destro's, they dudes. were Destro's dudes. His elite guys. And yeah. to this day... They came with my favorite G.I. Joe gun ever. That, like, Uzi machine gun that he comes with. All right. It's, it's, it's my favorite gun. I better look at it now. That's sweet. Uh, and, I mean, if those guys would have been running it from day one, they would have beat G.I. Joe. I think Joe. so, too. Cobra Commander, he, he sort of been confident. Yeah, you know? I wonder if Destro, like, Destro was kind of like, was he running the show behind the scenes, or could he have run the show? I think he... Yeah, I mean, I, don't I think, think he, was... he did a lot of stuff behind the scenes that kept Cobra around as long as he yeah. did. Yeah, he wasn't as evil. Like, Cobra Commander was, like, genuinely evil. Where, where Destro was, was a businessman. He was a businessman. Yeah, he was a businessman. He wanted money. It was all yeah. about the Benjamins for him. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm, Iron Grenadiers were on my list. Uh, I'm going to throw out kind of an, a, a more obscure uh, yeah. troop builder. Troop builders are really important to, to the yeah. successes. Uh, I like the Techno Viper. I was going to say, I yeah. like the Vipers too. Yeah, they're no, sweet. No, the Techno Viper. Wasn't that the first Viper? No, that was just a regular Viper. Those are cool too. Which one's a Techno Viper? Techno Viper were the purple ones. They were a little bit later, like 87, 88. They were purple, and they had a, a big backpack, and then yeah. you could put like different like Techno uh, like weapons into it, and they attached to wires, like an axe and stuff like that. Yeah, which Viper my uh, I was trying to say Viper and I can't remember which one I should have looked at. The the first standard Viper is probably the silver faceplate. Yeah. Is that the one you want? I think so. I mean that's a pretty awesome figure. Yeah. 
I don't know my G.I. Joe that well. Did you have a Cobra officer, Cobra soldier on your list? I didn't, but I figured there's not a chance of them not doing yeah. it. Yeah. Like, they'll have to do it. That's why I didn't put them on my list yeah. either. No, but I do want it very badly. But with the officer has a red face mask and the soldier is black, In the right? cartoon, but in the toy, it's just a matter of, like, one has, like, shoulder straps yeah. and one of them just has a belt. But, I mean, they can do things to differentiate the two a little yeah. bit more. I mean, I, I mean... Again, the great thing about Classified is it doesn't have to be beholden to... to, to yeah, they can do what they want. Yeah, they can keep the essence of the character, but create something more modern or mm. just something to have more fun with it, and that's what I love about it. Um, I, I don't know if it's your turn or mine, but I have Zara Zarana. Okay. The reason why... why? I'll tell you why. Um, one, to represent more women, but in, in addition to that, there was an episode of the cartoon, and I can't seem to find it, where Zorana and Mainframe like fell in love, and I sort of loved it because it was like the bad guy, the bad girl, yeah. and the good guy fell in love, and like yeah. you could tell that there was a thing, and 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 maybe maybe it was a comic book, but I think it was an episode, and it was one of my favorite episodes mm. ever, and it sort of made me dig Zorana. Okay, but do you remember yeah. that episode? Or I don't think so. Was it? Do you it think I'm later? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm making Zorana. it up. If, hey, it anyone probably out did there, happen. I mean, it sounds right. Like, why would I pick mainframe? I mean, uh, it's got to be legit, right? I think so. Yeah. But anyways, I like Zorana. Okay. Um, plus, like, the cutoff shirts, the dreadnoughts. They yeah, got, they yeah got I'm into it. I like her style. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Wait a minute. How many, how many naughty ladies are there in Cobra? Are there only two? Like, who else is there? Uh, Baroness, for the, Baroness, Baroness and Zorana. But... What a, later be more. in the comic book and like later stuff they came they, they created a couple characters but like okay. i don't count those okay i don't remember what their names were but it was like vipress oh yeah there was oh, vipress she vipress. was part of cobra la okay you remember her but no. uh you don't remember her so there's there was Galobulus. yeah the royal guard i don't remember cobra oh, I, I she had bald out. head you'll remember yeah. if you saw a picture yeah, like ah uh, yeah i tuned out when mighty mick was because you know it was mighty mick who played them? Who played one of them, right? No, but he... just Meredith was in the movie. He played Galobulus. He was Galobulus? Yeah. yeah. Was like, that was weird. an all-star cast, man. That Donna was Johnson. an Yeah, I know. But hey, neither is... of us had Sergeant Slaughter on our list. How do you feel about Sergeant Slaughter? I think Sergeant Slaughter is entertaining, but uh, maybe way down the mm -hmm. road, like when we're bored of it. Okay. But I wouldn't want him to eat up a new mold. I'm with you, man. I'm not, like... You know. So here's an, the thing is I never I never mailed away for Sergeant Slaughter. All right. Um, I regret that. I mean, I would I, I like Sergeant Slaughter, but the the fact that he was a real world person sort of took me out of it. Mm -hmm. With that said, I mailed away for uh, William the Refrigerator Perry, Perry, and I love the for fridge. Hmm. So, but yeah, different I mean, though. It's a different thing. Well, okay. Sergeant Slaughter's character in GI Joe. Is probably top tier popularity for GI mm -hmm. Joe, which is kind of crazy that like he he succeeded so far beyond just like a little promotional item. Did you ever see them when they tried to do the the Rocky Balboa mail away? You've seen that, right? No. So Hasbro tried to do a Rocky Balboa mail away, and something fell apart. And there's there's a story behind it, and I don't know exactly what happened, but there's like a promotional photo out there of the Rocky. And then it was going to be a mail away, and then they they scrapped the whole idea. I think Sylvester hmm. Stallone didn't want to be involved or something. Okay, but there's a story behind it. I wish I could tell you the story, um, but I can't. But yeah, Rocky was going to be part of the line. How that'd weird. be sweet. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really weird. Yeah. Um, you got any others? I got Cobra Eel. Cobra Eel, yeah, that'd be sweet. Um, I like the water dudes. Yeah, who was the like torpedo guy that came with the? What was a cobra like hovercraft? What was that thing called? The cobra one? Yeah. Oh, it's oh, not a oh, hovercraft, oh, oh. but um, it was a mini whale. The what? The lamprey. The, the vehicle so. was the big red boat. Is that the vehicle? Well, no, that was oh, sweet. Yeah. No, I'm talking about wait. The, it was like the cobra whale. It was like a whale but smaller. It was like that type of vehicle. It was. I don't remember. Wait. Yeah, what, you would. What color? But like greenish. It was a boat. It was Hold a on. boat. A little boat. A little green boat. And it was. And it came with a figure. It, yeah, the figure was like. I think he was wearing a life beater and a helmet. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. 
It's it's a moccasin it's a cobra. Is it a it's, moccasin? Oh, the water moccasin. The water yeah, moccasin. Yeah, copperhead. Copperhead. Yeah. I got, he was that uh, to this day. Yeah, I like that guy. Nice, nice. Yeah. To this day, and that's another vehicle that could be done. Yeah, the size. yeah. The water moccasin next to the Sky Striker was probably my favorite vehicle as a kid. Okay. It was a cool color. The character, the figure yeah. looked awesome, and like. You could play with it in the water, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, the copperhead in the water moccasin. The water moccasin. It's one of the few vehicles I had too, because I, I, you know, I didn't get a lot of the vehicles. Um, yeah, I guess we didn't throw air, uh, we didn't throw like Ace on there because he, you know, because they got to have a Sky Striker with them. That'd be never gonna happen. Yeah, it'll never. Happen. Never gonna happen. Mm -hmm. That's the one uh, major downfall of six inch. No scale. vehicles, or at least not no, really. No sky yeah. Strikers. Yeah, we yeah. might be able to get a Skyhawk though. Remember the Skyhawk? That would be that would sweet be cool, though. Right? Oh my god, I would love that. Me too. That was such. That was one of the best vehicles. It was. It, you could do so much with it. One dude, just it flew. It was sweet. You're right. I loved it. I, I always, it. I always associate it with Duke because I think the yep. box art had Duke in it, and, and yep. it was such a popular cartoon vehicle. Yep. I also really loved, uh, as a kid, I loved um, the shark with Deep Six. Yeah. I know people Too hate that Deep Six wasn't like a real figure. Yeah. But that would I be know. a cool figure to like redo Look, and make him legit. I agree. I didn't hate on Deep Six. Mm. I knew that he was lacking that articulation, but that vehicle was so cool. It was and awesome. So versatile because you could make that a spaceship and if you a wanted. boat. Yeah, right. it was in a submarine. That was. I wonder why they did make him such a weird figure. Like, why wouldn't they just like? Do you think that? the cost to articulate that i don't know why wouldn't they just repaint another figure or some even or like take parts off a cobra dude throw a new head on and be done with see, it see i i was okay with it maybe it was i'm justifying it yeah. but i liked the translucent dome and and like it was big and bulky and like you could see through that dome like you always wanted to take it off because yeah. it was like it had a face um but you're probably right i've never played with that toy i had it I have one. Uh, but like, like, could you? Did it have? Could you like accommodate normal figures in it? Yeah. Or would they just be sliding? No, around? no. I think you could put them in, and then even he came with like a water pump, and and I think mm. you attached to his back, and then it would like make a move. And I don't remember how useful it was, but as a kid, I remember loving it. it was a sweet. I mean, I loved that vehicle because it was in the not the pilot, but it was in the first like six episodes. Yeah. yeah. When they had to go get that thing underwater, and they fought the tube. It was. Worm. It's great. I loved it. Yeah, it's, it's sweet. Sweet vehicle. Um, I mean, we pretty much nailed all of them. Just a couple mm. honorable mentions because I'm realizing it. Is I always liked uh, going back to the Joe side. I mean, we could just go list every mm. Joe. We'll wrap it up soon. Mm. But hey, what else you guys got to do anyway? It's not like you know. It's not like you got to go to work, right? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Some people do. Uh, Alpine. I always liked Alpine. Hi. He was like the mountain climber. Yep. I, I would love to see an Alpine with like you know with with all his hooks and all his like I could have a mountain climbing adventure and then i think airtight would be, look really cool too do you remember airtight i was, if you refresh my mind i know it but i can't recall well, he was like the like quarantine guy he had like the yellow outfit he had a green mask helmet and he was like a toxic like bringing him oh, back man. yeah it's bringing he it he was he was cool and then they would always show him in the cartoon without the head helmet and i always remember he had a really high hairline like me mm -hmm. i didn't obviously mm -hmm. have a high hairline at the time but uh i just remember his it being so distinctively high hair hairline, but airtight, airtight. So that's it, man. I'm super excited, and uh, you know if I get those Joes. It's oh yeah, that's episode. an emergency episode. If you Hopefully, get the it'll come the same time as Boba Fett. Oh my god, we could do a super episode. Uh, so we could have like the GI Joes, the Boba Fetts. Uh, anything else? Like uh, anything else in your day in your life? No, not really. It's been slow. Work. That's it, really. Yeah. I guess that's uh, I, I I mean, I'm sure like. Yeah, I was gonna say there's more important things to talk about than GI Joe, but there isn't because that's no, not weird. really. The world is no. just on pause no. right now. And uh, well, yeah, this is this is about six feet, it's guys. Close. About it's, six it's feet. close. It's a little off. You might have to turn the volume up on this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, thanks to all the people out there who are who are helping get through this and whatever. Like, I mean, yeah. hopefully, hopefully we can we can enter some sort of normalcy. Uh. Do you, real quick, have you, is there any like groundbreaking show or movie? Oh, there is one show that I want to talk about real quick. Groundbreaking show or movie? Yeah, I got one. Go. Uh, Patriot. Okay. Yeah, you were talking about Dude, that. Okay, so there's a show on Amazon Prime called Patriot, and it's two seasons. 
and it's the humor is so dry and so interesting so many cool characters i highly recommend that if you have a good sense of humor and uh i think if you I, I think it's a great show. I don't know what else to say. I'll have to give that a try. You, you really I'll do. Give it a shot. Um, I'm uh, and then my son and I are all caught up on Clone Wars, and that's. Uh, I heard the last episode was incredible. It, it's good. It's yeah, getting, I heard that. So. It's getting there. I think that there's some. I can't talk to you about it because you haven't seen it yet. But I think there's some some inconsistencies going on though. Okay. But we'll talk about it when we get to. I'll that be film. caught up next episode. Yeah, there's yeah. only two left, so. Yeah, there's only two. Oh, so you are watching them? No, but I'm gonna wait till I can get them all and then jump. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because I'm just like the whole waiting the week and all that. It's tough. It's, like, it's tough. It's tough for me. I just want to watch. Like I want to do it in three nights. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, you... Watch four here, four here, four there. And be hey, done. look, we're up to three or four in the morning yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, I would actually get frustrated having just a half hour of something and then having to find something else. Like, how dare you? Yeah, really yeah. Go elsewhere. For I've been. Uh, That's how lazy I've been. Yeah, no, it's tough. Yeah. I've been watching that Michael Jordan documentary too. Good. And I love it. I'll All tell right. you. Okay, I know we don't generally talk about sports, but like, um, when we were growing up, we're Detroit. The bad boys mm -hmm. were the thing. Yeah. And uh, a big part of this documentary thus far is Michael Jordan's struggle against the bad boys. Oh, bad, yeah. I mean, we were his biggest we, rival. We yeah. Just beat him up. Yeah. Growing up, I, I was not the hugest Michael Jordan fan because he was bigger. He was the enemy. He was the, yeah, he was the enemy. And he was the enemy. And he was the best. <laughs> yeah. But, like, now I'm able to reflect on it, and I'm like, wow, he was really great. And I'm not going to lie, I, uh, after watching the first episode, I ordered my first pair of Nike Air Jordans ever. I never had a pair when I was a kid. Okay. And I went with the retro ones, too. Did you ever have them? Of course you, not. You didn't? Of course not. But it was like... It was you like, see me running around in... Like, no, man. In Jordans? Those were way too cool for me. Yeah, but you were like... Okay, I wouldn't... I don't want to say you were rich, but you were like... You were privileged at that point, and like, Nike Air Jordans were like the thing. No, yeah, I was never into the thing at, at that age. It was like I don't know why I would have pegged a few for having some big old air flights. Never, no, never on a pair ever. Me neither. I never. was not allowed. Like I remember my dad saying, "Like you will never pay a hundred dollars for a pair of shoes, not as long as you live in this house." And and like, look, my mom would have bought me. My mom would have bought them, she but yeah, I just them. never had them. Right. She'd be like, She'd want me, like, wearing boat shoes and right. loafers, you know? Right. She well, would totally cheese me out if she could. Well, she, my parents did cheese yeah. me out, right? I mean, I remember, like, that was a fight. Like, I wasn't allowed to have a pair of Air Jordans. My parents would never let me have them. I remember I really wanted a pair of Reebok pumps. You remember the pumps? Oh, God, yeah, I had a pair of yeah. those. Oh, you did? Oh, God, See, yeah. So now those how can, I had, yeah. You're contradicting yourself. No, like, they're you're not. Like, okay, because, why? Because, like, those were, like, The gimmick? Of, it was the gimmick. So you yeah, went yeah, into the gimmick. I went into okay. the gimmick. I never wanted Jordans. Like I just, I, I okay. never kept up with sports or anything. So it's like I didn't okay. know. But the pump, the gimmick was enough to. Yeah, I wanted those okay. bad. I'm like, mom, give me those, give me those, give me those. Did they really work? They didn't no, work. No, not really. I, I was for a like big a second. Yeah, I was a big Dominique Wilkins fan as a kid, and I wanted them. But um, my 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 dad, he had a bad experience with a pair of Reeboks. Mm -hmm. So if he had a bad experience with something, no never, one else could have happen. it. Okay. Right. Yep. So like I I remember it was like torture. Like I wanted a pair of Reebok pumps so bad. And besides the fact that I my parents would not, I mean, they, by this time I was old enough where I think I could have saved up for some. Yeah. But my dad said that if you ever bring a pair of Reeboks in this house, I'll toss them out. Oh like it gosh. was like that. Oh my I gosh. Know. I know. So. Anyways, uh, I, I ordered my first pair of Nike Airs uh, ever, right. and they're the first, re the retro, because I'm a retro kind of guy, right. and like, it's crazy, because shoe collecting is like a Oh, I know, it's huge. It's my, my nephew is so into it. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So I hunted down this pair, because I, you know, I'm, I, I wasn't willing to spend $300 on a pair, mm -hmm. but I did spend more than I probably should have, and so like, I had to go to a process through this like website to authenticate it before okay. it gets sent to my house. Wow. So you know, probably the next episode, I'm gonna rock my pair of Air Nike Air. That's Jordan. sweet, man. I'm so I, I like my New Balance. Like yeah. these are so big time. If you think about it, how do they get an N and Nike doesn't? Nike should have that N. Nike's got the swoosh, dude. They got the swoosh. They got the N though. I always the rock. N. Yeah, uh, I always rock the Onitsuka Tigers. Uh, that's mm -hmm. my brand. But I, I'm I'm going for. The, I'm I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I, I I can't believe I'm ex I'm excited because I think it's gonna it's gonna satisfy. Uh, 
13 year old Randy's desire. Yeah, that's sweet, man. Yeah, I probably look goofy as hell with them, but uh, anyways, that's that's my excitement. Uh, mm. Anything else? No. All right, until next time. Nerd, nerd out. out. Stay safe, people. Stay safe. Six yeah, feet. Yo, Joe. Six feet. <laughs>